everybody, this is Clever Notes. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create a dubstep track. So let's begin. Okay, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new track. Secondly, we're going to create an instrument that's kind of suitable for dubstep. So in this case, we're going to use the Future Flute from the Synths. kind of has like a dubstep feel to it already. If you get what I'm saying. So, creating dubstep in GarageBand is so, so easy. All you need to do is apply a filter to basically make it wobble, which is basically the famous dubstep wobble that you all know. So, to achieve this, what we're going to do is we're going to click Automatic Filter. And what this does is it basically wobbles the synth, so it makes like a like a warble sound so you can basically modify it in this so if I'm to press a key here it creates that famous dubstep wobble noise so what you need to do is just tweak a little bit As you can see, that sounds a little bit better. So what we're going to do is tweak it a bit more to get that perfect sound. There we go, that's all you need to do. So to make this sound a bit richer, what we can do is add a distortion filter. And what this does is it basically makes it sound a bit more rough. So to do this, we're going to click distortion. But make sure you don't put too much distortion on, otherwise it will sound terrible. Like that. That sounds a bit better. So if you put the velocity on the keys, we go so let's record a dubstep track so to record the dubstep track all we need to do is click record and then double click on this this brings up this window again and then we can just edit it like this so let's loop this section and play around with the settings a little bit. So it'll go something like this. And that's all you need to know. That's literally how you make dubstep wobble. So thanks for watching and enjoy the next video.